Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a few settings you should consider changing right after you update your iPhone to the latest iOS 16.4 in order to get a better user experience. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. So the first option I would like to talk about is called dim flashing lights. If we go into settings here and then we go into accessibilities, under accessibilities we want to go into motion and you'll find this option called dim flashing lights. Now let me show you what this will do. So let's go into YouTube here. I'm going to play this YouTube video that contains a lot of flashing lights as you can see right there. So what you want to do is you want to enable this in order to prevent these flashing lights to impact your vision. Maybe if you're watching a music video with a bunch of flashing lights or you just find it annoying when videos do this, this will help you dim those lights in order to protect your eyes when you're using your device. Especially at night this is going to be very very useful. So this is definitely one of those options I recommend you enable right after updating to iOS 16.4. Okay, so this next one is really cool, especially if you like to read books on your iPhone and for iPad users. So let's go into the books application here and let me show you. Apple has brought back these really cool options. So when you're reading a book or a magazine, you can tap in settings here, go to themes and settings, and then to the swipe options, you can now choose the curl. This will allow you to flip through pages as if it was a real book. This is something that Apple had on their iPhones and iPads before. They took it away and now they brought it back. Again, if you love to read books on your iPhone and iPad, this is going to be a nice visual effect for those of you that like to swipe through pages while reading your books. It's really cool, something not so much useful, but it looks nice. Okay, so next I wanna shift my attention over to iCloud information. So for example, if you ever lose your iPhone and you wanna access your data directly from iCloud.com, there's a new option in settings that I recommend you enable. You wanna go into the settings application, you wanna go into your iCloud settings right here, and then you wanna scroll all the way to the bottom and there you'll find access iCloud data on the web. This will allow you to access all your data by going to iCloud.com from any machine and manage your data directly from there. This is very important, again, if you ever lose your device or if you just need to look at your data directly from Apple's website, everything that you have on your iPhone will be, uh, you know, imported over to the iCloud service. So things like contacts, calendars, photos, reminders, files, things like that, you'll be able to access through iCloud data just by simply enabling this particular option. I highly recommend you do this because if you ever lose your device, this will give you peace of mind. Okay, so have you ever been on a phone call and you accidentally click the side button and end the call by accident. So let me go ahead and call myself here and let me show you what I mean. So this new option, right? So if you click on the side button, it will hang up the call just like that, which is annoying. So if you want to prevent that, this new feature will help you prevent this. So let's go into settings here and let me show you. Let's go into accessibilities. Under accessibilities, we want to go into touch. And under touch here, we want to go ahead and scroll down and find the new prevent lock to end call right there, this option right here. So now if someone calls you, I'm gonna call myself again, and I accidentally click on the side button after accepting this call, it won't end the call. It will send me to the lock screen, but the call will still remain. So yeah, if you accidentally hang up on someone, usually by accidentally clicking on the side button, then this option will prevent you from doing that. And I recommend you enable it. Now, before we continue, I wanted to share a quick word from our sponsors, K-School. And this is the K-School Magic Stand case. I love this case for various reasons. This right here is the Magic Stand. It is magnetic, so it allows you to charge with MagSafe without having to remove the actual case from your iPhone and it also adds to the magnet strength as well which I really really like. Now, of course you can also pop open the magic stand to watch movies and TV shows even YouTube videos and of course make FaceTime calls as well. Now it also protects your camera module as you can see right here and also protects your display. It is available in various colors gold, purple, blue, black. One of my new favorites is this one here. This is the matte clear. I really love this one. So if you want to check out K-School magic stand case with any special deals everything will be in the description down below. Now jumping back into some of the settings you should change on iOS 16.4, another one of my favorite new features is voice isolation for calls. Now Apple added this for FaceTime audio and video with iOS 16, but with 16.4, this is now available for any calls. So once you initiate a call, you can go into control center, press on the microphone options here, and then from standard, select voice isolation. This will make your voice a lot nicer, crisp.
crisp and clear and anything in the background any background noise will be reduced and your call quality will improve with the new voice isolation again under control center once you initiate a call press and then select voice isolation you're gonna really love this new feature now last but not least I would like to talk about a clean energy charging feature on your iPhone now this feature is not unique to iOS 16.4 Apple introduced a feature with iOS 16.1 however on the latest 16.4 I've been having issues because this feature is about learning your patterns right it only charges your iPhone up to 80% until you're ready to pick it up to charge the additional 20% and therefore you have 100% before you pick it up so it helps reduce your carbon footprint by selecting when to charge depending on when the energy is coming through as cleaner energy and it sometimes gets it wrong in my opinion because my schedule changes often and I guess it falls into a pattern where sometimes I pick up my iPhone and it's only at 80% because the feature things I'm going to be using my iPhone as normally as I do every day but sometimes it just gets it wrong it doesn't charge my iPhone to 100% so I unfortunately had turned off the feature for right now it is a great option on iPhone but I think it still needs some work so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off as a right now you have the option to choose but I just wanted to share that with you guys just so you guys know so clean energy charging is one of those options that I've been turning off on the latest 16.4 due to those patterns where I pick up my iPhone at 80% instead of 100 and there you guys have it I hope you guys enjoy the video thank you for watching have a great day and I'll see you on the next one peace